Are you enough? Are you enough? What does that mean exactly? Are you enough? Well, that means yes, I'm, I have all that I need. I fully accept myself. I feel as if, I don't know, I love all the little nooks and crannies of me. Now, how does that contrast with the other feeling <laughs> that goes on inside us, which is, I need to get better. I need to grow. I don't make enough money. I don't have enough love. I don't like the way my body looks. Da, 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 right? All the things that we want to improve. And that, that is the irony of personal growth, my friends. We're, we're simultaneously asking ourselves to feel that we are enough already, to love ourselves, accept ourselves, yet at the same time, improve ourselves and be better. How? How? How do you walk that line? That's what we're going to explore today and Flow Dreaming. It's a show where we talk about the power of your mind to change your world around you, to literally affect the fabric of your reality. We talk about this feeling of hope and joy and relief. And that is what being aware of your flow does. It gives you a feeling of power again in your lives. I'm Summer McStravick, and welcome to another episode of Flow Dreaming. Welcome, welcome, my friends. This is Summer here, and woohoo! We're going to start with a little catch up because you may have noticed there was a big break in my podcast for the last few months. So, yes, we will be diving into You Are Enough. Please finally accept yourself as you are, episode number 651. But a little housekeeping. So, where have I been? I, I know I get your emails. Summer, are you going to do another podcast? Are you doing another podcast? Are are you going to do another episode? What happened? You know, it's been 15, 17 years you've been doing this. What's going on? Well, here's exactly what's going on. I'm going to catch you up on the last, I don't know, four or five months, however long that I inadvertently took a break. So over the course of the 18 months, 20 months, whatever it's going on to of this pandemic, A lot in my work life shifted. One of the things that I did was I slowed myself down. I mean, heck, why not? Everybody else was. So I slowed myself down. I began opening up different kinds of time in my life. I call it slow time. Time where I could embrace these big projects in my head, several of which were to write two new books. Now, I had been working on these the the year prior, but I nailed them. It took me, it's now taken me almost two years. But they are good. They are done. (laughs) They are good to roll. And a third one has already been started. Not only that, but I started a new course called Flow On. It's a monthly course. Um, I release new material each month that people can either get individually just by going to my website and saying, oh, I like the sound of this course. I think I want to take it. Or they can become part of the ongoing subscription, get all the courses for 30% off or each of the courses that's released um, for the month. And um, so that's kept me pretty busy because basically I'm recording new master classes filled with worksheets, techniques, flow dreams, et cetera, every single month. Right, so I told you I slowed down. Right, this is this is me <laughs> slowed down. <laughs> but a few things had to fall by the wayside. Um, I did release several new playlists this year, so go check them out. There's confident playlists. There's unleash uh, new directions playlists. Um, go check those. But one of the things that I put pause on was this podcast. It's as if my brain was telling me, you've only got so much you can say in one month. So let's put it in these new directions. So that's where, that's where I have been. 
And, um, you know, I, I think it was kind of unconscious. It was sort of like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. I know I, I missed my recording deadline again, uh, but I just need to get this book done. <laughs> so um, by all means, I'm so glad to be back with you. And uh, we're going to do our flow dreaming. And just as, you know, you'll notice as I've noticed that every season of this show changes, right? It gets a little different. I'm getting different. I was thinking earlier, I started this podcast when I was 35 years old. No, maybe I was 34, 33. Oh, goodness. And now I'm 50. There's 15 or 17 years of my life recorded in this show. All the things I've thought about, dreamt about, explored, challenged, felt, revealed, seen, it's all here. Dig back. The older archives are gold mines of different phases of myself, my uh, exploration of manifesting, flow dreaming, my empathic self. You guys know what themes I tend to hit on over and over. Self-love, healing, trust, all the things that are the deepest and truest game changers in our life, all applied, of course, to the most practical situations of actually living, which means applied to your job, applied to work, applied to money, applied to your health, applied to your relationships, because that's what living is. And for me, that's what personal growth is. So that said... Be sure to visit my website, flowdreaming.com. Check out some of those Flow Dream playlists for you. If you don't know what Flow Dreaming is, there is a wonderful episode you can access right now. Um, It is, what's the number of it? Uh, Let's see here. Number 650, new to Flow Dreaming, start here. Go ahead and and grab that one, and then you'll know what, what the basis of everything we do is. And be sure to get the Flow Dreaming app. It also got a full makeover this year. Um, should be more stable and functional than ever. Um, And that will also, I hope, I hope you'll enjoy it. There's actually two apps, (laughs) one for this podcast and one for my shop. Okay, so let's, let's dive in. Enough of a prologue. Oh my God, you guys stayed with me this long while I just chatted you up about my life. Goodness sakes. Here we go. Please finally accept yourself as you are. You are already enough. You've heard that, right? What does that mean? Acknowledging that you're already enough is understanding that who you are in this very moment is honestly the pinnacle of everything you've worked up to until this point in your life. You have more experience than you've ever had. You have more knowledge than you've ever had. You have more wisdom than you've ever had before. I mean, you're it, like you're at the top at this very moment. And you say, but I don't feel like I'm at the top, but you are realistically, just by virtue of living, of getting to this point, you are at the point where you have the most of all the things, more competency, more basic competency than you've ever, ever had. Whether or not you're using it, totally different story, but you've got it. It's here in you. You are enough is this understanding that you were gifted with the exact same thing everybody else in this world was gifted with. A body, fresh air, food, water, shelter. And of course, there are disparities. I know that. Some people's shelter is terrible. Probably, though, if you're listening to this, you've got good shelter. You've got walls around you, roof over your head. You've been gifted this. And and this gift says you also have 24 hours in every single day to make stuff in your life. Like make stuff. Go out and make stuff. Go out and interact with the world. Go interact with other people. Choose what you want to make. I'm the universe. I don't care what you make. Just make things that you enjoy. Make things that please you. Make things that make a difference. Make things that make you healthy and happy. Make things that help other people and help the world. Go on. Just pick what you want. Go do it. You're enough. 
And yet this thing comes up in us and says, but I am not enough. I'm not able to make the things I want. I'm not able to do the things I want. I'm not enough. And the universe says back, why not? Why, why would you think you're not enough? Why would you think I would make you broken, flawed, messed up, unable, without resources? Really? Why would you think I would do that? Now, everybody's got a different set of skills, of talents, of abilities, of course. But basically, you're all enough. There is enough in you that I, as the universe, I'm being the universe here, you guys, right? I, as flow, God source, can say, go forth and make in the next 24 hours. Go choose what you want to do. Sky's the limit. You've got this. Whatever you think you're capable of, go do it enjoy yourselves. I mean, it's like turning kids loose in the candy store of the world of life. And yet this child, you, me, is saying, yeah, but I'm not enough. My little candy bag isn't big enough for all that I want. So that's the irony that we jump into in personal growth. Personal growth says you can improve. You just need more insight. You just need more knowledge. You just need more healing. You just need more inner acceptance. You just need more trust. You just need more. And this list starts to grow really, really long of the things that we need. You need to stop procrastinating. You need to heal that thing. You need to, you need to, you need to. And pretty soon, we're stuck here at the bottom of the list of all the things that we need to do so that we are now able to have and and be and experience the things that we want to make. So we've gone from a position of knowing intrinsically, I'm enough, to knowing and thinking or feeling, I am not enough, I need to do more, be more, get more, learn more, have more, heal more. How do we reconcile this? And, and, and what's more, which one is right? Can they both be right? Well, that's where I'm going. Yeah, you know what? They're both right. Right? It's like a Cohen. It's like a, you can't reach the end conclusion of this, holding both ideas in your mind, seemingly conflicting, contradictory. How, how can we do that? Yet we can and we should. I know that I am enough. I am enough for anything that I want to do, be, have, become, taste, experience. Now, I may also know that there are parts of me that I want to level up, that I want to grow, that I want to strengthen up, that I want to develop. Because if I do that, I will receive even more riches. I'll receive even more positive feedback. I'll receive even more love. I'll make more love. I'll make more riches. I'll make more of all the things that I'm looking for. Basically, though, I'm really good. And that means, you guys, warts and all. You know, the shadow stuff, the the dark self, all of that, it's in me. I get it. I see it. I know it. And you might be listing off things, depression, addiction, inner hurt, pain, holding on to old difficult emotions, feeling like you're an imposter, like I'm just pretending other people are better than me. Oh, you guys, there's such a whole bunch of these. And yeah, we all have this grab bag mix of them inside. But don't you get it? All of us have the grab bag of these things inside. All of us. It's ubiquitous. It's in all of us. That said, either we are all insufficient (laughs) or we are all enough. And I want you to just make a little promise in your heart right now. You're enough. I choose to say, even with all the grab bag of crud (laughs) in me, I am still enough. I've got everything I need. I've got everything I need to jump to whatever level I want to go to. And that, my friends, is how I make the leap. I make the leap that way. I'm enough, but I'm still inspired. 
I'm enough, but I'm inspired to see, ooh, what parts of me can I grow bigger? Can I make stronger? What parts of me can be more happy, more satisfied? What parts of me need a little healing and cuddling and and gently, you know, gentle hugging? What parts of me do I want to give to? Because I'm enough. So I can do that. I can give to them. So that is how I personally reconcile my, my personal growth with this feeling that I'm already good enough. Right? I give myself permission to get bigger, to grow, to, like I said, level up, to get happier, to do more, to have more, to, to try more, to manifest, to co-create. And I, I give that to myself like a treat. You know, that's my candy. <laughs> it's my treat. But I'm not filling up something that's broken or empty. Instead, I'm saying what I am, all of me, good parts, bad parts, sad parts, happy parts, it's all me. But there are things that I want to experience, taste, and have. That is why I'm going to grow. Because I can. I believe in myself enough to know that I can do that because I'm fundamentally enough. So how is that hitting you? Do you, like, do you get that? Do you feel that? I think what I'm, I'm really driving at here is that in those moments when you feel like, I can't, I, I haven't made it yet, my mindset's not there, my money's not there, I'm not with my life partner yet, all the things that we say to ourselves to explain why we don't have the things we have, right? I'm, I'm, I look too old for that now. I, I, no one's going to hire me for that. All those things we say to ourselves. You're enough. You don't have to say those things to yourself. You need to jump to the other side of that. Because honestly, what is saying things like that to yourself doing for you? It's just justifying you not moving forward. It's, it's reconciling, it's rationalizing it in yourself. You're making it okay in yourself to feel like I don't have to do anything about this because I can't. But I want to blow that out of the water. That's wrong. That's just a temporary thing you're saying to yourself because you're scared to try to move to the other side of that. You're scared you might be disappointed. You're scared that it might be hard. You're scared that it might not pay off. You're just scared, which is understandable. But look where that leads. It leads to a life of no longer shooting for the stars, of of just kind of buckling down and getting reconciled to whatever middle ground you found. Why not add some beautiful little stars in again? Why not say, "Mm, yeah, there are a couple things that I want to shoot for, that I want to do. I don't know how they're going to work out. I don't know if I'm quote unquote enough for them, but maybe I'll work on becoming enough for them. Maybe I'll work on getting to that place. Wouldn't that feel good? You're enough. And you can be an absolute number one personal growth, manifesting, mind level, mind, what is it, mind, mindset up leveling, you know, superstar. They can be at the same time. You're enough, but that does not preclude you from saying, so what else can I do? What else can I become? As long as you realize it's not being driven by deficit. It's being driven by positive fulfillment. That, that's the goal. And the reason is because then you never fall into that trap of, I'm trying so hard and I can't. There must be something wrong with me. I've got to fix all this stuff. I'm broken. I've, right? And then it's like you just spiral down. And then all the fixing and changing you're doing is based on coming from a place of lack. And personal growth no longer is a joy. It becomes a chore, right? It's all about filling the holes instead of building the mountain. And we're here to build the mountain. 
see how high we can go. That said, I'd like us now to close our eyes and let's jump into flow together a little bit. We'll just do a short one, but I want you to really feel it. Now, this is the part of the episode for anybody who is new, where we go into something that I call flow dreaming. It is uh, not meditation. However, if it's more comfortable, please think of it as a kind of very active, emotive meditation. I'm coming around after all these years to starting to label it meditation because honestly, people um, relate to that term. So think of it as a deeply active, emotional, energetic-based meditation. Your mind doesn't still or clear. Your mind actually goes into overdrive. It spills over. The cup floweth over with feelings, emotions, energy. You can see imagery. You have a sense of flow. You're going to daydream your way into this place using your imagination. Then you're going to feel that place outside of time, outside of space. You forget where you are. You don't know how much time has passed. And you open up your eyes and you say, wow, that felt really good. Where was I? And you realize, oh, that was flow. I got into flow state. Again, like I said, Uh, You need to really learn how to do this if you want. Uh, Go back to episode uh, 650-650, New to Flow Dreaming. All right, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, let your shoulders drop. Release your stomach and relax your brow. And feel yourself drifting, drifting, drifting like a little dandelion seed in the wind, one of those puffy white weeds that we blow on as children and say, make a wish. You are the wish, and you're blowing, you're billowing through the air, you're being carried aloft on a sweet, sweet summer day. The sky is blue, birds are singing, life, life is good all around you. The world is awake, it's fresh, it's dewy, it's a gorgeous dawn, it's warming. And you blow, billow, float. You release into this feeling. You're moving into your future without even trying. You're moving into the next steps of your life. You're moving into later on to today, till tomorrow, without even trying. It's just happening to you. You've been gifted this. The universe has just shoved all of this at you. It's giving you breath and life and sleep and food. It's giving you time in these big, beautiful chunks, like opening up one gorgeous present after another. And each present in front of you that you untie the golden ribbons is just another hour. And life is saying, what are you going to do with this hour? It's a present. It's a gift. It's all yours. And you know why? Because you're enough. You've got everything you need. Your pockets are full, bulging with everything that you need in your life to move forward, to open your arms, to scoop in the living in front of you, the life, the people, the presence, the money, the wealth, the objects, the giving, the connections, the love. It's all there for you. What do you want to partake of? And what? What do you want to grow into? What do you want to improve? What do you want to strengthen? What do you want to level up? Where do you want to fill your personal growth inside you and, and, and shoot your arms up in big cheering movements as you get to them? As you say, yes, I got it. I did it. I became that. I conquered that. I feel that. I healed that. Yes, because it feels so good to say that because you're already enough and you just got more. Oh, it's a scoop of ice cream on top of another scoop of ice cream. Yes, I'm already enough and I just made more. I just became more. I'm enough and it feels so good. I am at the top of my game. 
I am right there. I am living. I am breathing. I am choosing what to make in each and every day, each and every hour. And those things that I make just keep compounding the love, the joy, the return in my life of the things that I want and make and do and be. God, I am so blessed. I am so blessed. And I feel that blessing. I feel the blessing and I feel the gratitude and I feel the joy of it. I am so blessed. I'm blessed. I'm loved. I'm adored. I'm enough. And I'm, I've been given this opportunity to go be more, to go make more, to heal more, to change more, to, to toughen up, strengthen up, to, to, to conquer, become. Oh, sweetness. I want that. Love more. God, how can I do that today? What's something I can do right now? It will make me feel like I grew. I reached out. I gave to someone. I hugged someone. I loved someone. I stretched myself. I did something that was hard or that I didn't want to do that I've been putting off. I reached for something. I got closer towards something that I wanted. I did the thing. What can I do today to grow a little bit more, to move myself into that growth, all the while knowing that I've got this? I am ready for this. I'm enough. I'm enough. And that then is the feeling I hold that I keep stays in me. Even now. As I come back, returning to present. And I open my eyes. And there, there you go. So this is a quick little flow dream, right? A little five minute flow. Uh, In the recorded ones that I have, I often go for a lot longer, 10 minutes, 15 to really get you into that space. And you'll notice too, if you thought that was going to be meditation, I had way too much emotion and emphasis and drive, right, in my voice. That's how I want you to feel. I want you to get swept up in the feeling, swept up in the rolling, beautiful energies of life, right? That is is co-creation on fire. That is the feeling. That is you creating at a upper level, a higher tier. And I think the flow dream really captured that sense of, oh yeah, that's what it feels like to not be growing from a place of deficit, but to be growing from a place of, I've got all that I need. Even those parts in me that I'm still trying to improve, I can improve them. I can build on them, knowing intrinsically I am worthy of that. I'm enough. I'm going to leave you with that and leave you again with that little little task ahead of you. What can you do today to give yourself more of that feeling? Something you can stretch into, something you can grow toward, Something you can do to kind of nail that feeling. Yes, I did the thing. Yes, I reached for the thing. Oh, I pushed myself. I grew. I forgave someone. It felt good. Yes, I was ready. I was enough. Go do that thing. Make this solid. Make it real. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's episode of Flow Dreaming. One last little note. Uh, If you're listening to this live the week or the week after it was released or a couple weeks, (laughs) Me School is enrolling. It is the only time I'll be teaching it this entire year. And um, going forward, you'll notice that I have reduced the program. It's a nine-week program now. Lots and lots of changes. If you want to do this kind of intensive work with me every week, I have a phenomenal 
personal growth program, Mystery School, for you. So go check it out at my website, flowdreaming.com. And until then, my love to you all. I'll see you next time for more Flow Dreaming. Flow Dreaming is a universe. On the one hand, it's extraordinary. It's a technique that can change everything in your life. You can feel better, manifest your dreams, heal. It does it all. And to learn it, well, just go to flowdreaming.com and get my free kit that teaches you how. Look under free goodies. And you can also download the Flow Dreaming app, which has the kit right there for you. But Flow Dreaming keeps going. Once you fall in love with the technique, you might want to know how to use it better, how to think better, feel better, really change inside. That's why I have Flow On, a monthly membership where I teach people a new way of using flow in their lives every single month. Check it out. Finally, you might be perfectly ready for me school. I know you've heard a lot about me school, but maybe you haven't actually looked it up yet. It's my most effective program, a culmination of 20 years of teaching. It's been taken by hundreds of students over the last seven years. And this is where you really light that fire that grows and you make this a life worth living. You can find it all at flowdreaming.com. So go check it out and at least write yourself a note, even if you can't check it out this minute. And while you're at it, subscribe to the podcast.